In the previous lesson, we looked at how you can ignore errors in TypeScript. However, it might not be as intuitive for JSX developers, for example, within React. So in this lesson, we will look at how you can use JSIgnore in JSX. So let's jump in and have a look. Here we have a basic React component to demonstrate why you would potentially want to ignore errors. This app component in a third-party library works perfectly fine without the name prop, but it is annotated to require it. So using the app without passing in a name is actually perfectly fine, but TypeScript will complain and we can easily fix it by adding a line comment tsignore right before the error. However, it gets a bit weird when the usage is embedded within other JSX, because after all, a line comment over here is essentially text and not a comment. The fix is to use curly brackets to jump into JavaScript expression mode and just use a multi-line comment. 